Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the step-by-step -step breakdown of how I created this infographics graph animation project from beginning to the end. At the very beginning of this project, I first decided the main elements I would need for the animation. So in this case, it's a line graph, then a bar chart and then a pie chart. Once I'm finalized with the main elements, I planned the in-between motion and how the elements are going to morph. In this process, I did some rough sketch to explore the various options and then jumped on to Illustrator to check out how it's looking visually. I also did some rough animation in After Effects to check out the motion and to get the feel of the overall animation. So after everything was decided, I tried out different colors. For color selection process, I took some references from Adobe Color and Pinterest. So right now, I am all set to get started with the animation. So the animation starts with a circle shape then zooms out and splits into multiple circles to form a line graph. Then the graph fluctuates and bounces off to form a bar chart. Then the bar chart elements flies off to form a pie chart and then converts into a spiral pie chart. Then everything gets back to a circle again to match the first frame and this makes the animation a perfect loop. So this is the overall idea of this animation project. Now let's jump into After Effects. In After Effects, I started with the initial circle animation. So I took a circle shape and added some scale and position animation. Then dragged the shape upward, scaling down the shape even more. So this is giving a feeling like the shape is moving far away from the camera. For the motion graph in this part, I gave some ease at the start of the motion to add a slow start, then converted the in-between keyframes into rowing keyframe to make the motion continuous and smooth, and then added a hard ease on the third set of keyframes. Then I moved on with the circle splits. For the circle split, I duplicate the shape two times and then moved the shape away from the main circle, then again duplicate the shapes and move them away even further. Note that in this process I took references of few line strokes to make the splits at equidistance. For the graphs, I gave some ease at the end of each of the motion for a subtle stop. Now after the split animation, I trimmed the layers to add match cut. After all the points are sprayed out, I added a stroke with the help of paint tool to form a line graph. After that, the graph is fluctuating. If you are wondering how this stroke path is moving along the circle, so here I actually used null from path script. So it's an inbuilt script in After Effects, you can find it under windows. So to use it, create a stroke and then select path under stroke and then click on points follow null. Now you can see that some null layers are created in the place of the path vertex. And if you move the null, it is going to change the path. So you can parent this null to any other shape and the path is going to follow that particular shape. So here I parented the null layers with the circle and the path is following the circles. So after the graph formation, the graph is fluctuating. I added some anticipation for a fall. So I pulled the circle up and then added a free fall animation. In anticipation, I added a long ease at the end and in the free fall, I decrease the ease at the end so that it hits the ground at a very high speed. Then morph the shape into a rectangle and added a pop-up animation for the bar. So this is how I converted the line graph into a bar graph. Then I offset the action so that one falls after the other. To convert the bar chart to a circular pie chart, I created a path from the bar chart which follows a long curved path and forms a circular arc. Then I added a trim path and adjusted the start and end value according to requirement and animated the offset under the trim path to convert this bar into an arc. Then I eased the start to give a feeling like low gravity acting on this ship. So I distributed the path of the shapes in different ways before forming a circle. After the circle formation, I continued the shape path to a spiral path, then used the offset under the trim path to continue the motion in this spiral path. Then I used the start and the end values to make them disappear from the scene. 
At the same time, I added a circle stroke and animated the end value on the trim path to bring the circle into the scene. Then I scaled up the shape to match the initial frame. After the overall animation is done, I added some detailing to this line graph scene. So after the line formation, I added some motion lines to indicate the graph is fluctuating and moving up. So for the motion lines, I added a line stroke with the help of pen tool and then changed it to a dashed line. Then adjusted the value of the dash and caps according to requirement and then added another dash to add more variation to the dash in the line. After that, I animated the offset on the dash and then duplicated the lines multiple times and here you can even use repeaters but I wanted to have control over each of the lines to add more variation. Then I added another type of motion line so for that I added a stroke and then animated the start and end value and here is how it looks. So now the project is ready to render. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your projects. So if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques then make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time then make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.